This man and this woman, they turned around and when they saw me, they were like, who are you? The man was like, who are you? Who are you? Mali nilipumzikia, nilikuwa na hema. Oh God, ningepigwa. Oh God, wange nilarua kama chapati December. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Lizzie Eli here, a Kenyan YouTuber here in Italy. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Today is going to be a story time. Yes. On today's story time, we are going to talk about the importance of minding your business. Yes. Minding what is paying you. And this story was prompted by what happened a few weeks ago. The good sis was just minding her business. I had just come from work and I wanted to go and buy something for my children. I parked my car right in front of this park. I switched off the engine and when I was about to get out of the car, I saw a couple bickering inside the park. They were like this. They were like this. The man and the woman, they were like this. And I was, they were just into each other's face and I was like, eh, that is not some normal couple bickering. What is wrong with this situation? So, curiosity killed the cat. I did not come out of the car. I just sat there and I watched. And I was like, eh, what am I going to do if they go further on this and maybe they start fighting? And then all of a sudden, the man started pushing this girl. And I was like, okay, what kind of situation? What kind of shenanigans? What kind of oh, my own dose is this? So the more he was pushing this girl, the more I was getting agitated. The more I was like, should I intervene? And whatever. So he pushed her and she fell on a bench at the park. And I was like, okay, now it's time to intervene. Let me go and say something. I looked around, but there's no other person there. And I was like, uh, okay. So I got out of the car and I entered inside the park. And I was like, you stop. Stop. Stop pushing her. Stop pushing her. What are you doing? You are a man. Stop pushing her. Well. This man and this woman, they turned around and when they saw me, they were like, who are you? The man was like, who are you? Who are you? Kisei, who are you? Who are you? Kisei, what do you want from us? And I was like, why are you pushing her? So guys, lo and behold, something very strange happened. The girl that I was trying or thinking I was helping, she turned on me. She was like, who are you? What do you want? Don't, why can't you mind your business? You came all the way from Africa. <laughs> To come and mind our business and i was like i thought i was trying to help you because i saw him pushing you she was like this is my boyfriend and you should mind your business when she started coming towards me oh my god and i was like okay are they trying to beat me now so i started moving back towards my car the way they say ki masonic masonic you know they said to those people of masonic they go they want to in you manuma i started going back in you manuma <laughs> Going back to ask my car because I was like, hey, ooh, kuku kapata by scale bata kabara is only my dears. I was like, OMG, if I had just parked and went about my business, this could not have happened. I started saying, sorry, sorry. I thought it was some dangerous situation and I was trying to help. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I entered inside my car, started the engine, reversed, and I went about my business and I was shooketh. Do you know Shuked? Nilikuwa na tetemeka kama mtu wa jakula siku tatu because I was like uh, what just happened? I thought I was trying to give a helping hand. I thought I was trying to help a fellow woman but they done turned on your good Caesar and I'm like okay Samaria mwe makaribu apigwe and I'm like eh now I will never, ever, ever even try to put my mouth when I see a couple bickering, when I see some situation going on between two people, cause I was like, Ninge pigwa. Because when this lady started charging towards me, telling me, leave us alone, who are you? Why are you intervening? She do what? She do nini nini? <sighs> but I was like, mm, Never ever will I open this mouth to try and help anyone and I know it's not good Sometimes we are supposed to intervene and say our own and I ask myself Why were they telling me you came from Africa to come and mind our business? If I was a white woman maybe who intervened 
could it have been different because i don't know it's because of my color they looked at me they were like what does she want and whatever and up to today i wonder what happened if they continued bickering if they started slapping each other i don't know but from that day i was like mm -mm. i will stay on my lane I will mind what is paying me because in your land is never congested and uh, I don't know if I ever might find myself in a situation where I'm supposed to help if I can or I will just close an eye and mind my business you know because uh, I was almost beaten karibu ni chapwe at me trying to intervene and being mother teresa the good samaritan Wewe niliendesha hiyo gari mbio kama gari ya mera ama gari ya sunflower ikipeleka sunflower ama rose flowers airport ziende Amsterdam <laughs> Mali nilipumzikia nilikuwa na hema Oh god ningepigwa Oh god wangenirarua kama chapati December <laughs> And uh, by the way leave your comment down below and let me know was i wrong to intervene when this man started pushing this woman should i have just left the car went about my business and that was that they say waliolala kitanda moja wakajifinika balangeti moja wanyambage huko kwa balangeti leave them alone and now i believe why <laughs> but i'm very sure if i did not intervene and said my own that situation could have haunted me because every day could have been what happened to that girl did he hurt her sijui nini nini so, <laughs> that was that for today see you in the next story time bye